Hey, it's Numbnuts Carlston here. Today I'm gonna sit down with a guy who looks like Squidworth from SpongeBob SquarePants got spray tanned. In his spare time, he beats women and used to and probably still does take the keyboard away from women masturbating on camera for lonely orc-like men so that he can chat with them instead because he can do it better. And at the rate things are going, there is no better person to represent what modern conservatism is, because as we all know, they haven't conserved shit, and cave every chance they get to the point where most are now comparing which side has the hotter trannies, and who should have actually appeared on the Bud Light can. <laughs> We're fighting the left so hard, guys. It's Tucker and Tate. Pucker up and make conservatives gape. It's Tucker and Tate. Tucker, I feel really comfortable around you, so I'm just going to use my actual voice and accent. Wow, so who was your dad? Uh, he was a chess master who worked for the CIA. Wow, my dad was CIA too. I also applied to work in the CIA, but I got rejected. We're going to bring down the Matrix. I'm going to make a confused, constipated face now. We're going to break the Matrix. Sign up for Hustler University. We're gonna bring down the establishment. Sign up for the CIA. I mean, go watch The Sound of Freedom. Uh, I'm a sex trafficker. What do you got against sex trafficking? Shut up, dude, I don't. It's just that if we say stuff like this is the film the mainstream media doesn't want you to see while it's number one at the box office as if that's not a total contradiction, even more people will go see it. Oh, and that made-up backstory where it got shelved for like five years? <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Some retards are even saying they're turning off the air conditioning to stop people from seeing it. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, the, the mainstream media can't handle the truth. It's getting out there. This interview is trending right now. They can't handle it. They'll blow up buildings on their own soil, start wars that kill millions of people, control the money printing, spy on everything they do, and will lock people up for attending an event for years, but somehow presidents and movies just slip through the cracks! We're breaking the matrix! I'd much rather bang a 10 out of 10 tranny than a 1 out of 10 woman, if you know what I mean. Warp-faced! 